morning everybody do you know something right i this is weird because i'm i'm only talking to a camera but like i proper miss vlogging when i don't do it because obviously i only vlog monday to thursday but then friday to sunday i just feel like i've gone like a long time without talking to you guys i know it's just weird and i just miss it so like when it comes monday and i get to like talk to you again it's like how <laughs> very exciting We are now on weekly vlog number three. Three. Just close the spot there, so please excuse it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed last week's vlog, and I'm sure we'll be getting up to other things this week. Um, I know today I want to kind of show you how I meal prep my lunches. I'm not going to meal prep my dinners, because, like, I only ever meal prep my dinners if I'm working and like I'm having to leave to go to the dance studio. That's the only time I ever do it. I'll prep lunch and dinner. But because I'm already here and I do like to make fresh fi 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 fudge sticks, I do like to make fresh things from scratch. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Um, that is why I'm, I've not been meal prepping my dinners. It's just easier to grab my lunch and go. So that's why I meal prep my lunch. So yeah, I'm going to show you. It's really simple and really easy. It's just a tuna pasta salad. And if you don't like tuna pasta salad, you could always do this with chicken um, or corn. You can like put all sorts in it, depending on what you like. But I just thought I'd show you. And it's a really quick, healthy, easy way to meal prep. And it doesn't take any longer than about 20 minutes as well. Anyway, I need to do my makeup. But it's really annoying because I'm not tanned. And I hate not tanning because most of my foundations are... I purchased because they're supposed to match my neck. I've not got any tan on my neck, so I don't really know how I'm gonna work this today. But I'm gonna put a little bit on, and I'm gonna try and um, I'm gonna try and do my tan tonight. However, tonight, tonight is the Harry and Meghan interview that I really want to watch. I want to know what the, I want to know what the tea is. Spill the tea. Spill the tea, Meghan. Spill it. I want to know. I, I never really used to be into the royal stuff, but ever since me and Andy started watching The Crown, I'm like proper interested now. So that's on at nine o'clock tonight. I'm going to watch it and I hope it's juicy. Okay, so I've done all the faffing bits. You don't have to watch that because I just find that really boring, but I will tell you what I did. Um, I've just cooked all my pasta, so it's in there ready now. I've cooked four portions of pasta so that I can have it for four on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't mind eating the same lunch every single day like that doesn't bother me in the slightest. So the pasta is cooked. I'll show you what I've done so far. Okay so that I know that an equal amount is going into every single um, Tupperware box I kind of like get a red bell pepper and split it into four. Each piece will go into um, one of the tubs then uh, one stick of celery into one of the tubs, half red onion again into one, one of the tubs, split um, I've split a tin of sweet corn um, into four and then also I've done one whole carrot but again split it into four just so that there's equal amounts of every single vegetable in there. So grated carrot, celery, red onion, uh, one red pepper you can see under there and then some sweet corn. I've got the pasta going in in a second and um, I'm just going to add the tuna first and then I'll add the pasta and then I'll add a tiny bit of mayo. This is the tuna that I'm using, it's just tuna chunks in spring water. So one tin per tub. Hi guys. Okay, so now that all the tuna is in each, sorry, this is a really weird angle just so I can film it. Uh, I'm now gonna put the pasta in, but I do measure my pasta to make sure it's the right equal amount in each Tupperware box. So I'm just gonna do that now. This is the pasta that I used. It's the whole wheat fuse, fuse, fusily? I don't know how you say it. I'm using the Heinz light mayo and I'm probably going to put about 10 grams in. And that basically is what it looks like done. Just a little thing as well that I thought I'd add. Um, the grated carrot, once I grated it, I actually um, drained it in some uh, kitchen roll just to get all the excess water out because if you put a lot of things in here with water, then the mayo won't stick to the pasta and it becomes quite a watery pasta. But anyway, that's that. I'll probably add some salt and pepper to it. And that is a tuna pasta salad. You can do it with chicken, you can do it with corn, you can do it with whatever you want, but super easy, super simple. And it's actually pretty healthy to be honest. I'll put the um, macros on the screen now of what's in it. Uh, I'm just going to do this with the other three now and then we can put it in the fridge. The 
because there's always a little bit of um, leftover tuna in the tuna tins, I always give the boys a little bit. They're currently, <laughs> I'll show you what they look like. Hold on. You can see Lufa there, actually. What do I do? What do I do? Got spoons at the ready. No more. Well done. I actually already feel really productive today and it is only one o'clock and that again is because of all I've done is meal prepped. Um, it just leaves me feeling a lot more organised and I feel like more ready for the week. Um, I also, I'm going to be changing this today to the new one. If you've watched the first vlog you will know that I got given the Freestyle Libre 2. This is currently the Freestyle Libre 1. Now I've not put it on just I did get it like over a week ago but I've not put it on because these little uh, sensors they last two weeks and I didn't want to waste this one but uh, today it's on its last day and it's on its last leg I'll tell you that much I'm gonna be changing over to the number two so it's gonna be interesting to see how that's gonna I'm just really excited to use it so I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm gonna have a quick little chat with you actually guys because you will have noticed in my past couple of vlogs, I keep going on about how unproductive I'm or how produ unproductive I feel. And in the God's honest truth is that I've not been in my normal routine. Um, if you know me or have been following my channel for a long time, you know that I'm a creature of habit and you know that I have to have a set routine every day. And if I don't have that set routine, I just fall to pieces. Like, I become really unproductive. I end up not getting much done, that then leads to me feeling like rubbish. And I know you don't always have to be productive every single day in order to feel good. Sometimes just sitting on the couch and chilling out on a weekend or whatever day it is, is fine. But I've been, because obviously I've, I can't go to work still, so I'm very limited to my, I'm very limited to what I can and can't do in the minute work-wise. I'm left with a lot of open space. And if I don't fill those gaps and if I don't plan it out and write things down of what I'm gonna do in my day to day, I just fall to pieces. And I'm not gonna lie, these past couple of weeks, I've not been doing what I know works for me. So because of that, I've been waking up a little bit later. Like normally, I love to wake up at like half five, six and get stuff done and go out on a walk. You'll know that from lockdown with Heidi. Um, I used to do yoga in the morning and meditation. I've not been doing that. And I used to write ev every single day like clockwork. I'd write down what I was doing. I've not been doing that. And I can just feel the difference between when I do do it and when I don't do it. I'm not beating myself up like I usually do because I know I've got to go easier on myself because of the circumstances. Like what's happening in the world is not normal. So for me to then beat myself up about things that I'm not doing, it's not okay. And if you're beating yourself up about things that you would normally do in, stop because we don't need that. We don't need to do that to ourselves. So I'm not in the worst place I could possibly be in, no. I'm in, I'm in an okay place. But could I be in a better place? Could I be doing things to get me in a better place and in a better headspace and things to make me feel good? Absolutely 1000% yes. Yeah, I just thought I'd keep it real with you that normally I have a routine and I've not been doing that routine. And because of that, some days, you will have seen me say it on here, I've not been very productive today. It is actually half four now. I'm not doing a great deal today. Well, I have actually, but I've not filmed it because, I don't know, I just didn't think you'd find it interesting. With, with meal prep together, I just didn't think you wanted to see me washing the dishes and doing stuff like that. Um, I do need to change this over though. So what I'm going to do first, actually, is I'm going to start preparing my dinner because I'm making Hasselback potatoes. Again, if you're an OG watcher, if you're, if you're from lockdown with Heidi or Vlogmas, you remember my Hasselback potatoes. So I'm going to do them. I'm not going to film it. If you want to know how to watch it, I'll put here the video um, that it was that I made them in and you can go and watch that back. They're ready to go in. Some of them messed up a little bit where they took like a big chunk out of them. Basically, Hasselback is when there's like loads of little slices and you can't really see them at the minute because they're not cooked yet. This looks like a lot of food. It looks, I'm not going to lie, it looks like a lot of potatoes, but it's only about... 50 to 60 grams of carbohydrates there and I just absolutely love potatoes and then I've got it with a salmon fillet and some sweet corn so I'm going to eat this up I'm then going to plan my class I'm going to go for a walk with Andy and then I'll speak to you shortly
I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you two questions, Andy. Yeah. I, I tried asking them my mum, but she wouldn't do it because she said it would make her look like a bad parent. Yeah. But I wanted to film like a diabetic quiz with my mum to see how much she knows. Yeah. So I'm only gonna ask you two questions to see how much you know. Yeah. What is a hypo? Man, your blood jerks drop low and you need some sugar. Okay. You go and get some sweets okay. and you eat them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a song version. Um, what do I need to do if my bloods are too high? You need to stick a needle in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> and do what? And inject. Inject what? So, it's really... <laughs> okay. And it has to be the orange one. <laughs> he does know really well. Last time I put that sound over you, every single time you popped in the camera, do you remember? No, I don't watch your vlogs. He doesn't watch my vlogs, to be fair. Everyone heard you trump on the last one. <laughs> you may seem what you wanted. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four. Squind down. One, two, three, four. Drive those knees up. One, two, three, four. Into a plank jack. Jump out. Jump in. Or you can step. One foot at a time, okay? So one, two, three, four, jump out and in. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, T minus 16 minutes until the Harry and Meghan interview. Some of you probably don't even care about it to be honest, but I want the tea. I am just about to put on Freestyle Libre 2. I've just taken my old one off and it's left a nice big ring glue mark. Which is great. We love that. Love that. Love it. Um, so I'm changing arms over to this one. Okay. Looks exactly the same as the old one. What the fudge sticks is going on? <laughs> I'm just laughing at what I said. Oh. New sensor found. Let's change that. So basically, I can set it up. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Well, actually, that's backwards, so hold on a sec. So, this is my... This is my low glucose um, level, so we're going to change that to 4. So basically, if my bloods drop anything below 4, it's going to basically bleep my phone and let me know which it never normally did high glucose alarm if it goes any higher than let's say let's say 9.5 if it goes any higher than 9.5 no let's let's do nine if it goes any higher than nine i want it to let me know i've got a face mask on and i'm gonna get into bed and watch harry and Meghan. <laughs> let's go let's go break Hands in. Uh, right guys, I'm probably gonna love you and leave you here because you the interview is on. A Got a face mask on. I'm in bed. And I'm ready to, I'm ready to get the tea. Like? Megan, watch the tea. I, will say when you I can't you smile because I'm gonna crack my mask, but um, thank you very much. For, there's no point in saying thank you very much for watching because this is gonna be yes, continued, but yes, I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Fun. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Hello everybody and welcome to my vlog. Just thought I'd uh, make a video. Why are you holding it like that? Why, why you can't hold it like that? Oh wait, sorry, I thought you were holding it wrong way. No. <laughs> what are you for? <laughs> <laughs> ah! It took me ages to work out how to work it. So yeah, welcome back to my page. <laughs> you do love to go to the vlog. <laughs> yeah. Got back from work and I surprised Heidi with some flowers today. Didn't I, Heidi? You did! I'm not actually vlogged at all today. Yeah, she hasn't vlogged at all today because... You said they plan on vlogging later when we're in the cold. Yeah, I know, but there's more important things to be discussed. Andy bought me flowers. I bought Heidi flowers and, you know, I came in trying to surprise Heidi and um, tried to get her to open the door to me so it was like flowers would be delivered. And, oh, she, just... and she was just moody and shouting at me. You were just banging... Andy, stop messing around! Stop banging on the door! <laughs> right, the thing is, guys... Oh, sorry. First um, of all, I wasn't supposed to be vlogging until... Like and subscribe me, thank you. Like and subscribe you. I, don't know. I wasn't supposed to be vlogging until later. 
So, Andy's actually picked my camera up for me earlier than what I was supposed to be. By the way, today's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I'm going to the range later with my friend, Nicole. So I was just going to vlog all that. But Andy just picked up the camera for me and started vlogging. So, hi. Hello. How are you? Um, but yeah, Andy plays too many tricks on me all the bloody time. So it's hard to know when he's being serious and when he's joking around or when he's just playing another one of his foolish tricks. So he came home and I could hear banging on the door, not the front door, our other door at the top of the stairs. I was like, Andy, just open the door. And he was like, bang, 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 bang. I was like, Andy, just open the door. Because I was in the mood for his games today. And then he said, I can't, my hands are full. Um, I've got shopping in them or something. So I went to the door, opened it. And he said, there were flowers for me. <laughs> and I would be an absolute bitch. Um, I'll show you them in a second. We're just getting ready to go for a walk. And then later on, as I said, I'm going the range with Nicole because I think I'm going to get a mirror today. I haven't got dressed really today or done my makeup today, which is why I look like crap. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put them in a vase. But he actually like... Uh, spl is the word splurge the right word? Splurged. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, he got some good ones. He actually like spent a bit of money on them. Yeah, that was the four pound cheapest ones. <laughs> oh, but they're really lovely. How nice! It's because he was pissing me off this morning. That's why he got me the flowers. It wasn't and it's actually hilarious what it's over. It's so. over Harry and Meghan. <laughs> No, you, you don't want my opinions on the situation. <laughs> Andy's, Andy thinks that basically Harry and Meghan are lying. No, I which don't. I haven't said that at all. You think that they've got some sort of malicious reason as to why they're doing this. No, and I don't. Actually, I just don't get why. Oh, why are we getting into this on here? Well, I just didn't like what, what like, Andy Also, you are getting into it. I oh, know, so... Oh, no, I'm just explaining uh, why you got me good. flowers. That's I'm just it. explaining why you so got me flowers. Reason, oh my God, I'm so tanned. Compared to me at the moment. So the reason why I am a bit suspicious is they were like, oh, let's not get involved with the media or whatever, and then they do a big interview that's going to get them shit. I just don't get why. That's because all. I think they needed to explain what went on. And they're like, just oh, like no, Princess Diana did. Isn't a prince. Well, actually, he. No one does a great. great I just, job. I just don't agree with anybody saying anything against them um, for what they did. And then basically, Andy knows how to wind me up. So then all this morning he was oh, sending yeah. me, sending me links to news articles, basically Harry going against Nazis. everything I believe, just purposely to wind me up. And then sending me those messages like, blah, blah, blah. and he knows, he knows it winds me up, which is why I didn't believe him that he couldn't get in the front door. But anyway, <laughs> that's why I've got flowers. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Meg. <laughs> and Heidi's going to insert a photo at the start of this video of Andy when he was trying to turn the camera on. He just took a selfie accidentally. <laughs> oh, good, it's 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 good. It's 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 here now. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Andy's YouTube channel. Start your own YouTube channel. Stop using mine. So I went to the range with Nicole. I think the last time you see me, I was carrying the mirror. Um, mirror is now in the room. It's going to go on the wall at the minute. It's leaning against the wall, but I'll show you tomorrow because tonight is... Right, Andy's being awkward. Tonight, every Tuesday, is Snow Pears night. So we're gonna go and watch that now. Hang on, can we get a poll going? Uh, is it Snow Piercer or Piercer? What's that's, it's the same thing, Snow Piercer. Piercer. <laughs> anyway, Piercer. I'm gonna sign up the vlog here. We're gonna go and have Snow Piercer. You can't say it, can you? <laughs> I don't think I can. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go and have Snow Piercer night and enjoy ourselves. And I'll catch. Oh yeah, we enjoy ourselves. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Today, we've actually skipped today. Today's Thursday, not Wednesday. And I know you're wondering, Heidi, why you not filmed yesterday? Well, well. <laughs> Do 
So ever since the Meghan Markle interview came out on Monday and she said that she was suicidal, there's just, that word has just been popping up everywhere I go at the minute. And I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely okay with it being talked about all the time and it being spoken about because I do think it's very much um, a topic that should be spoken out loud about. So no point am I like, oh my gosh, they shouldn't be talking about that. Um, it is just very hard um, to see that so much more than what I'm used to. And yesterday I just really felt it take effect. I've never really like said this out loud on here. I've said it to... I feel like I've said it to my best friend and that's it actually. I'm not going to go too much into detail but if some of you are new to my channel or new to my page, I lost my dad to suicide. Um, I, he died when I was seven years old um, but I actually didn't find out that he committed suicide until I was 19. Um, so age seven I lost him and I just remember being told that he had something wrong with his brain and he fell asleep on the couch and didn't wake back up. Uh, the reason behind them telling me this was because I was such a little girl. Got to age 14 in high school, 13, 14, started taking antidepressants then because my mum started to notice uh, things weren't right. I was already showing signs of depression. So every single time she tried to find the opportunity to tell me, um, I just don't think she could. Uh, and what's mad is my mum herself and my older brother, who's five years older than me, so he would have been... When I was seven, he was 12. He did actually find out what happened. Um, and the pair of them had to walk around the house with me in it and keep this secret from me. Like, for 12 years. F throughout everyone who knew my dad, every single person on this earth who knew my dad very well, family, friends, whoever, I was the only person who didn't know. And it stayed that way for 12 years. So how nobody slipped up, I will never know. Yeah, anyway, I turned 19 and then anyway, ended up my brother that said to my mum, like, look, we need to tell Heidi. And he did. The next day, we walked down to his grave and he, um, he told me what happened. And again, I, I, I have to genuinely think really long and hard about what happened to, to get my brain to believe it. Like, what memory would you remember more? A 12 year memory or a six year memory? This 12 year memory of he had something wrong with his brain, he fell asleep and he didn't wake back up was drilled. It was drilled into my head. And those words that I'm saying, it was you, you, you would have thought I had a script in my pocket because I would say the same thing every single time whenever someone would question like, oh, like, where's your dad? And I'd go, oh, he's passed away. Had something wrong with his brain, fell asleep on the couch, didn't wake back up. I've been saying those same words for so long and I feel like my brain's still like holding on to that. <sighs> wow, this is a really in-depth conversation for <laughs> a vlog. I don't even know. I don't know, maybe I'm just talking about it to get it off my chest. Who knows? I just had one of those, one of those moments and they do happen. They do tend to happen every now and then. Going through something like that, of course. <laughs> I'm never going to be the same person walking out of, of this after finding that out. Like, if you go through anything traumatic, you're not going to be the same person coming out the other side. Yesterday I just needed that day to myself um, rather than vlogging. But I also wanted to chat to you about it because let's normalise talking about our feelings. Let's normalise having days where we cry and are sad and upset. Like, just normalising that and just chatting you, to you about it. And yeah, that's why just thought we'd have a little sit down chit chat. Also, <laughs> whilst I was very upset yesterday, I decided to do some retail therapy online. So I made an order at Nasty Gum. I tend to do that and it's not a good habit, but look, look, look. Yesterday was not a good day for me. So if what came out of that meant a Nasty Gal order, then so be it. Um, but yeah, that's arriving today and I'll show you. I don't know if to film a separate video. I might film a separate video and then I'll just say, if you want to watch it then you can go and watch it over there, rather than making this video too long. Hello everyone. Um, we've now fast forwarded quite some time since I last spoke to you. Um, I've just been to B&M and done a huge, huge hinge shop um, to hinge my house tomorrow. Depending on how long this vlog is gonna be, I may film tomorrow of me hinging. We shall see, but I'll shut, I'm not gonna go through it all. 
Um, I'll go for it tomorrow again, depending if I've got enough time. But if not, I'll go for it next week of all the stuff that I got. But this, these are all the products that I got. I watched a couple of like Hinch videos on YouTube this morning, so that's how I kind of like knew what to get. Um, but in approximately three minutes, me and Andy have got a call um, for speaking to the mortgage advisor, which is very exciting, but also. It's just going to give us an idea of what's going to happen basically in the months to come. So I'm going to have to dash now quickly off that. And again, depending on how long this video, I will like sign out the video tomorrow morning, but it'll either be me signing out the video because the video is too long or it'll be me hinching with you guys because I've got enough time to. So I'll either, well, I will speak to you tomorrow. I'll speak to you tomorrow. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday. Um, I just realised I haven't actually shown you guys the mirror that I purchased from the range a couple of days ago. Um, it only got put up yesterday to be fair. So I can kind of show you it because I wanted this one on the wall. I've got another one in spare bedroom. Um, same mirror but different colour on the edging and that's just kind of like lent against the wall. But um, I wanted this one on the actual wall so it didn't take up floor space in the bedroom. So... I will now show you what it looks like. So, as you walk into the bedroom, you can now see the mirror on the wall. It's got a white frame, this one. I don't know why, my, there we go, my camera keeps not focusing. But I need to, basically, when we moved into here, there was like a big chip out of the skirting boards. So I need to paint over that and sort that. But um, this was the gap that I wanted to fill. The cat tree sits nicely there, luckily, because Lufa has been sleeping in that every night since I've built it. He sleeps in this part here, um, and Casper just normally sleeps with me. Sometimes he differs though between here and here. This is gonna be my vibe for today, what's cleaning the house. Um, proper chill, comfy vibe. I'm gonna put Alexa on and play some music and just hinch. I've decided I'm not going to film me hinching, purely because this video is getting too long. Um, Next week, that's something that I'll plan on doing and showing you what I got and then doing an actual hint with you guys because I've picked, I've picked up loads of little tricks that I've seen online. Like I've got some bicarbonate of soda. Oh, I really want to show you what I've got. Oh, come on, bugger it. Right, come on. Come on. I just looked at all the stuff that Mrs. Hinch uses product-wise. Uh, I always see her use this in the bath. So she'll in the bath um, and scrub it all down. I saw her using these, or I saw somebody else using these. It's called Blue, and I've got two different scents, and basically it's like powder, and you fill it up in the cap, and then you put it down the toilet, and it does stuff to your toilet. I got some of the stuff to go around your toilet. Mrs. Hint chose uses the pine one, but I decided to go for Jasmine Jump. I'm quite curious to know how this smells, actually. That smells quite nice. I've got loads of di little different, like, cloths, what are they called, minkies? Yeah, I got three separate ones because I thought three separate ones for three separate places. We've got one that will just be like overall house cleaning. We've got one for the kitchen, which is this one. That's your kitchen one. And then one for the bathroom. It's got like uh, ruffles. I always see I use this, which is basically 1001 carpet fresh clean. And it's, I think it's help. I also think it's safe for pets because it has pet on it. So the rug that I've got in the living room, you just spray over the rug and then you kind of hoover over it. I always see I use this, which is basically stainless steel to make it all nice and shiny. Megan Grubb recommended this. It's the Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Cleaner with rhubarb. I've actually smelt this already and it smells really, really nice. White vinegar spray. I see a lot of people use this and apparently it's good for like loads of different things. The reason why I got white vinegar is because apparently if you put bicarbonate of soda down your plugs and some vinegar, I think, I need to double check this, it does like helps clean your plugs out. And I also got this which I thought was pretty cool. It's shower gel but it's Squishies one and I just wanted to buy it. It was only a pound and it does actually smell like Squishies. Oh, I could eat that. That does smell like squishies. That is very, very nice. I also got this big plastic tray to put all of our pasta in because I don't know whether you can see, but we have a lot of pasta. Um, it currently, all this pasta was in the cupboard and it was just like heaving um, and we were limited for space in our cupboards. So I decided to get this tray and now this actually sits on top of the fridge, then freeing up lots and lots of space in the cupboard. That's it really. I'm going to go and crack on now. We're going to go and do a, a good... Good old clean, um, and I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. I feel like so much has happened this week. 
it's crazy to try and fit all this in into, to, into 35 minutes but yeah thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to like it means the world and please leave a comment because i love it when you guys leave a comment thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next week in my next vlog